Leonardo AI does it again, and this time, like it usually does, blows me away. Leonardo AI continues to amaze. This new update and this new feature are one of the ones I'm most impressed about right now. And like with any new feature or update, there's always a little bit of a learning curve, or maybe you need a little bit of help to come up with some ideas to really leverage the power of these new updates. For awesome prompt generators, click the link in the description. So in addition to showing you Leonardo AI's newest piece of awesomeness, I'm also going to show you some really cool, effective, but yet creative ways to really get your creative juices flowing. The update we're taking a look at today is Leonardo AI Live Canvas. Just by drawing a few simple lines, Leonardo AI magically generates an impressive image simulating the prompt you put in. And so I find it extremely helpful to have a few prompts in mind. So in my Airtable prompts database, I went through a few of these to determine what sort of image I wanna make or emulate in live canvas. And I'll also put a link in my description so you can get access to this complete database right here. If not, there's also a link in my description for these prompts over here on this webpage right here. On this one, there's over 100 prompts for you guys to try. Copy and paste them all for yourself just by clicking some of these drop down buttons. Once you have a prompt figured out, it's helpful to use it in Leonardo AI, but even if you don't have a prompt figured out, I'm going to show you some awesome creative ways to let Leonardo do all of the work for you. Okay, so here is this new tool called Live Canvas. It's over here on the left hand side, directly underneath user tools. And you can see it third from the top, it's called Live Canvas. And it really is this simple. All you have to do to start is type in the prompt or the sort of image that you're looking to generate. Now, keep in mind, over here on the right hand side, we also have all of our presets over here. We have anything from anime style, cinematic, concept art, all the way down to product, painting, fantasy art, sketch color, black and white, vibrant, or none. I'm gonna leave it on photography for now, but then we'll balance it out with a few different ways. Once I show you how to use this in the beginning, then I'm gonna give you some amazing ways to craft prompts yourself to really pinpoint the exact image you're looking for. So just to start, I'm gonna say a cup of coffee sitting on a table, okay? So do you see how I'm typing it in real time? I started with a cup of coffee, and you can see on the right-hand side, there's a coffee. Then I put sitting on the table, the table appears, I put outside, now watch this, outside a resort at a, just say a tropical beach. It's getting a little bit better. You can see some palm trees right here, and then you can see some sky in the background. Pretty cool. Now watch this. So here is where we can take things a step further. It did a pretty good preliminary job, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. So let's come over here on the left-hand side in the editor and select the color. And let's just go ahead and start with the sky. If you can see the sky is missing. Let's go ahead and go to that light blue color right about here. That light blue color is selected right here. Let's go ahead and then select brush. Now watch Watch this. Let's go ahead and then just start painting the blue right here. Okay, look how that sky is starting to come in. And the more and more that I paint, the more and more of that sky is gonna appear. So if I start at the top and only paint that area, it's only going to have the sky at the very top of the image. But as I continue to add more and more of this light blue, it just magically knows all of a sudden I want to have a blue sky and a blue beach or blue water. Now you can notice we don't have the table anymore. All I have to do now is just start drawing a table. There is a simple square. Okay, there's my table. Now there's also an erase button on the left hand side. Now I have that erase button selected. And I'm just going to go ahead and then just erase this whole entire table and then start over to see if I can get a different result. Okay, there you go. <laughs> my legs aren't that good, but this is just the beginning and I want to give you guys the idea of what this can do. Now I'm going to go to green and now what I'm going to do is draw a palm tree. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and start right here and I'm just going to go ahead and then draw a palm tree and it doesn't even have to be good. Right, and then down here, I'm gonna go at a resort at the beach with palm trees, right? As soon as I type in palm trees, there we have it. So now we have a palm tree there. And now when I go ahead and draw this on this side, it's gonna know and understand that this horrible painting is another palm tree. And now I wanna add a few more. So you see how it's starting to add that. And then there we have it. Over here on the right-hand side, I added this palm tree here, and then there's more of a palm tree here. And so you can just take this a step further and further and further until you get the right image that you want. This was just a rough draft. Now let me show you how to really make this the most effective thing. Before we do that though, look over here on the right-hand side now. Now I simply changed up my preset. It was on photography. Now I changed it up to cinematic. Now look at this, cinematic over here on the right hand side looks 
much, much better. I can also change it up to dynamic and in real time, as I go through these, it's gonna change everything up. So okay, so now let's talk about how to really get those creative juices flowing. The first part, I wanted to show you guys just how to locate this tool and use it, but now I wanna show you how to take some prompts, craft some prompts, and make them 10 times better to get 10 times the best set of images. Check this out right here. You can see I have a couple of images and they're in sketch form and that's just perfect. I want a few sketches. I want Leonardo AI to give me a few ideas. What exactly do I want to draw? Or for an example, I know what I have in my head, but I want to give Leonardo AI some more guidance, although letting it do all the work. What you can do is start with one thing right here. Go ahead and then just craft a prompt in Leonardo AI. So you can see in this one right here, I put in house nestled in the mountains. Now, I want to get a sketch because I want to use this sketch to draw in my life canvas to kind of help guide me. Here's how to get a sketch in Leonardo AI. You can see on the right hand side, I used the Leonardo Diffusion XL fine tune model, the alchemy preset, sketch color, and the element I used was coloring book. Don't forget about those elements, it's important. So that's exactly how I got these images. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this prompt and I'll show it to you in real time. When I go to my actual model page, check out this one right here, Leonardo Diffusion XL. It's important to use this model with short prompts because as it states right here, stunning outputs even with short prompts. So if you have a short prompt that's not too detailed, I highly recommend using this model, Leonardo Diffusion XL, okay? That's gonna work good with short prompts. House nestled in the mountains, okay? Again, your preset, let's go ahead and turn Alchemy on on the left-hand side, so once that's on, now all these presets will be available to me. Now, here's the important part. Hit elements right here, this is also new. Now check out the elements that are available for this fine tune model. These are all gonna work perfectly for coloring books, sketches, or illustrations. But I'm gonna use coloring book just for now and hit confirm and make sure I have everything up here at the top. Let's go ahead and hit generate. Okay, so here's the first one right here. So why this is so helpful is because now it's giving me a few ideas to draft in my live canvas. Let's say I actually like this one right here better because I didn't think about adding a sidewalk. Let me go ahead and then download this image and I'll use it as a guide when we go back to live canvas. Now, the next thing we want to do is take advantage of Leonardo AI's two dice buttons that you see up here in the top left-hand corner. The reason why is because here's what we're going to do. I have two options, new random prompt or improved prompt. Let's go ahead and select improved prompt. And the reason why this is so important is because now once you have improved prompt, it's going to make your prompt much longer, which is going to allow you the availability to use more of a complex fine tune model. I hit improved prompt. It takes house nestled in the mountains to now I get this large prompt right here. Now let's go with Leonardo Vision XL instead. So you can see this one here is also new, but it says as a versatile model, but it gets better results with longer prompts. Now that I have a longer prompt, we're gonna generate with this model. All right, fantastic, now that we're done, here are the other new six images that Leonardo AI generated. Again, perfect. I have three awesome sketches I can choose from. Once I have that prompt pasted, look down here at the bottom. Already, almost immediately, this looks fantastic. Let's say again, we wanted to add more details to make it look more or less like this. There are a few elements that we wanna to add to this. So over here, I noticed that it did get it pretty good, but let's just say I wanna add, again, more sky or more mountain. Let's go ahead and then do that. Come over here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna make that blue, get that blue sky going, and then let's just start the process of painting more of that sky. And look at that, I mean, so I'm gonna leave it at this right here. So this is something important to keep in mind. On the left-hand side, it looks incomplete. I just drew literally some scribbles with a lot of black openings. I didn't have to enclose it all the way. And that's important because you don't have to get it perfect. Just by simply doing a few scribbles across the board, pay attention to the right-hand side because you might have it already the way you want. And that's pretty good. So just by doing that, a few scribbles, I got rid of that little porch or that little pergola. I didn't want that there. So now this is looking more and more similar to this one right here. So for example, let's add more sidewalk and rocks and see what we can do. So if I just draw this sidewalk here and I just draw a couple lines through it, this is pretty cool. Look what it's doing over here. It's actually adding some steps and now it's making and extending my sidewalk. So on the right-hand side, check this out. It expanded the steps and then it expanded my sidewalk just how I was wanting. 
perfect. I mean, you don't really have to be an artist. In fact, the worse you are, sometimes I feel like the better image it's gonna make you. And then go back and repaint some things in here, make my brush much, much bigger, and now I can cover a lot more. So check this out, by covering a lot more of this, now look how much more blue it adds to it. Perfect, look at that. Now that looks awesome. Check out how realistic it got it. A nice house nestled in the mountains, it got it perfectly right. This really turned out well. Let's say I land on this fox right here. This looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this prompt right here and see how closely it could get to making this for us in live canvas. Let's go ahead and paste this prompt in down here. Here we go. Now the way this fantasy art one, this looks pretty cool. I like the way this looks. Now let's go ahead and then see what we can come up with making it a little bit better. So I'm gonna go to that orange color since the fox is gonna be orange. Oh, okay, well, just by putting that dot kinda looks cool. I'm just adding a couple dots and um, that does make it pretty cool. So let me add some ears right here and I'm gonna have it facing us. So let's see if you can understand if I want it to face us with a smiley face. Look at that, that's awesome. So if you want it to face you face forward, I drew just a very horrible emoji style, or not even that, a very horrible smiley face, and it knew that that meant to have one facing forward. I like this, this looks amazing just by doing this. So just by using the simple prompt and drawing a horrible smiley face fox, which I would never in a million years know what this was. Let's go ahead and download it. I'm gonna hit creative refine and then see what this can come up with. I'll also download it right here. And then we're gonna go to see what this did for us. So if I go back over to my editor, there is my final product with that simple prompt and my ugly smiley face, and then this is what we get. This looks fantastic. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. This only just scratches the surface of what you could really do with this tool. Once you take a lot more time, you're gonna get some amazing results. But this is pretty cool. Even if you don't have a prompt in mind and all you have in mind is just a simple sketch, this is gonna do the trick for you. So thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Turn it back.